What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. I have a really exciting one for you guys today. What we're going to do is we're going to go into Mexico and we're going to try to find some cartel airstrips. So what I did is I went to Google Earth and I also found some forums of some sketchy airstrips that I found. So I was able to get some coordinates. Uh, we're going to copy and paste those into Flight Simulator and see what we can find. So the location that we're going to be looking at is... Um, is in Mexico near the western coast. It's um, it's the biggest cartel. I think you pronounce it Sinaloa cartel. It's the biggest cartel in Mexico. So supposedly the area that we're going to check out is an area where they have a lot of activity. Um, these airstrips could very well be small villages or something that they just used to get supplies in and out. But regardless, they're not marked on the map, which is what makes me think that they're cartel strips. Um, again, this footage, or not footage, but the scenery is probably a couple years old. So if they were there at one point, they're probably not there now. But I have found so many dirt airstrips that are marked on the map. And the ones that I, um, I'm looking at right now that we're going to go fly over aren't marked on the map at all. So we'll see how that looks. Um, I already filmed it, so I already know what we're going to find. It's going to be super exciting. So just make sure you guys watch the whole video and um, tell me tell me exactly what you guys think. I want to see what your opinion is. Do you think they're legit cartel strips? Do you think they're just um, not strips at all? Do you think they're just strips that small villages use to get supplies in and out? You know, I'll, I'll let you be the judge. But... I do find a few, and I think at least one has to be, you know, illegitimate, maybe maybe a cartel use, but um, if I disappear, you know what happened. Also, guys, don't forget to subscribe and add me on Discord. We have a lot of uh, community flights that we do with the subscribers and everything, so if you want to be a part of that, as well as be entered to win a lot of giveaways, I'm going to be giving a lot of hardware away. I'm going to be doing another round of flight simulator giveaways for those of you guys that still don't have your hands on the flight simulator, so just make sure you're subscribed so you can keep updated with that, and uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, let's see if we can find some cartel airstrips. Let me type in those coordinates, get that general location. Okay, so it's going to be right here. Um, I'll pick this as my departure airport. I'll pick this as my arrival airport. See, and these are all dirt strips. So if we find more dirt strips that aren't in here, that could very well mean that they are from the cartel or maybe just small airports that they've put in there to help out small villages get in supplies and stuff like that. But this this area right here I know is where they have a ton of activity. So that's why we're looking here. So we'll add that to our route. So that'll pass us right over it. Um, let's see, look, we need something with navigation. So maybe let's go with the G1000 172. Maybe the caravan. Caravan's pretty fat. Let's do the caravan. That should be okay. Perfect. Let's fly that route, see if we can find anything. All right, let's see what we can find. Um, let's see, okay, perfect. We got our route on our map. Let's go ahead and take off. I'm gonna give it just a little bit of flaps here. Yeah, plenty, plenty long. Gain some altitude so we can start looking around. Giving it some up trim. There we go. Now I don't have to keep fighting the yoke. And we'll just maneuver through here, keep gaining altitude, and just start looking around. It's probably still too close to find anything, but what is that on the right? No, that doesn't look like anything. And again, this is a huge area that we need to cover, so we might not find anything today, but I'm pretty confident that I'll find something eventually. This isn't exactly good terrain for there to be strips, so maybe maybe we can find a valley or something on the other side of these mountains. Let's see where we are on the map. Okay, we're about to be over it, actually. Yep, right there in that curb on the route. That should be... The plan I might have to pause so we can look around in the drone. It's kind of like a valley here. It doesn't look like there's anything there. Oh, what is that? That looks like a strip. But there are buildings next to it, so that could be like a small village. Here, let's get... Let's reduce our altitude. Oh, that's definitely a strip. Yep, see it all the way down there? We're about to fly over it. Yep, you see how it's 
thicker there. That's where the airplanes would turn around. Okay, that is 100% a strip. Now there are buildings there, so who knows, but that's it. That's a strip that's not on our on our GPS. Um, what is this in front of us? Is this another one? I think this is another one. Okay, so I don't, even if it was a little town, I don't know why they would have them so close together. But then again, if it was cartels, I also don't know why they would have them so close together. So, who knows, but... Yeah, this is definitely another strip, guys. Check that out. 100% a strip. See? The ends are always a little fatter. You can see it right there. You can kind of see some roads. But, I mean, what does that look like to you guys? Ooh, threw on my reverse thrusters for a second there. That was almost really bad. Um, but yeah, that... I mean, what do you guys think that? That is for sure a strip. It's not a road because it doesn't lead anywhere. What's that? No way. Another one? Three? That close together? Okay. Um, yeah, see, I don't know what to make of that. Because, let me see if I can land on this. Because if it was the cartel, why would they have so many? Unless they're just running a lot of different operations. But at the same time, if it was a small village, they also shouldn't have this many. Or they could, I could be totally wrong. But these are definitely strips, guys. And as you can see, none of them show up whatsoever on our GPS. Yeah, that is 100% another strip. I don't know what the thickness of the brush is here in real life. Like, I would, I feel like maybe there'd be more trees, it'd be more foresty. Um, I could be wrong. I'm coming in too fast. But, yeah, that's a strip. See, right there again, it's thick on one side. Nice and smooth. I'm not gonna throw the reverse because we should be fine. Yeah. Okay, so it's big enough for an airplane to land on it. Let's see what's on this other side. Oh, it kind of looks like a drop off. Okay, let me turn around. Let's go see if we can land at that other one. That other one seemed like it was on a flatter piece of land. But honestly, com comment down below. What do you guys think? Do you think this is just random strips that be that belong to villages, or you think these are just unidentified airstrips that have been used by the cartel. That's pretty crazy. I honestly didn't think I would find that many. And this is supposed to be the area that there's a lot of activity. It's, um, I forget how to say it, but it's the Mexican strongest cartel. But let's go see if we can find that other one. I think it's right there in front of us. I just don't know how to approach it. Put my flaps back up. Oh, is it right off the edge of a hill? Yeah, I think that's it, right? Not too flat, but it looks like we could land there. Let's do it. Since we found so many, now I kind of want to just take the drone camera out and just explore this area a little faster. Alright, I think we shut off and off speed. I'm going to put it into a slip since we got to reduce some altitude here. I don't want to get too fast. Alright. I'm going to straighten out. Now. I'm going to pop it right over this hill. Put the reverse on that one. Alright. Easy. All right, let's look at it from the sky. And all these, I mean, they're definitely airstrips. They're, they're not roads. You can't confuse those for roads. They're completely straight. They are the perfect length for a small aircraft to land on. They have the rounded out ends. Let me turn up the speed and let's go try to find those other ones. Where was that first one we saw? There it is. Check that out. I mean, that is 100% an airstrip. There's nothing else that that could be. Rounded out ends on there. Kind of see it right there. Dang. Three just like that. And here's the one that we just... Wait, no, that's not the one we landed on. What is that? No, that's not an airstrip. That's the one we landed on. So you can see... 
There's one. There's two. And then there's three all the way over there. Can we find more? And you can see they're all in, in this valley right here because you can see the scenery gets pretty aggressive to where there would really not be anywhere else to put a strip. So maybe it's just in this area. And this is a pretty small area. I mean, th now that I've found this many, I'm definitely going to make more of these videos. I'm probably going to go to a different part of Mexico. Also, I'll probably go to Colombia, see if I can find anything there. I know the activity over there is not nearly as active, but uh, maybe I'll do some research in maybe Central America. Guatemala, I think, is a big one. I mean, I'm sure I could keep looking and find more, but I'm honestly satisfied that we found that many. Let's go back to the plane. Okay, I'm back in the area where we first came in through. So this is the first strip right here, right in front of us that we had, um, that we first saw. I'm gonna try to land on that one since we landed on the other two. And then we'll hop over, over the mountains and try to find that one that we saw in the drone as well. Let's see, oh, I'm coming in fast. Let me put it into a slip, see if we can shed some speed. Lots of buildings right here. Ooh, still coming in fast. Might have to do a go around. Let's see. You can see. Yeah, that's definitely an airstrip. Yeah, we're coming in too fast. Let's go ahead. Coming from that side is going to be pretty difficult because of the mountains. So. Hmm. That one's challenging. That one's extremely tight. You can see the, the tree clearance wasn't very big. Just going to throw my reverse thrusters on now yep they're on so there's no going around now we are committed which is fine though this looks good yeah our wings would have definitely clipped but yeah there we are on the ground all right let me take off all right so this kind of looks like a strip is it nice and straight and has rounded edges? Yeah, that's why I'm saying it does, but it's also narrow and small. Okay, let me see. Let me head over toward you. I wish there was a way to drop a pin though. I guess you could save your your flight here and then just spawn back to it whenever you yeah, wanted to. Yeah, it really does look like a... Yeah. Some kind of strip. Oh, that's for sure a strip. I think I see it. If it's the one I see, I think so. All right, I'm coming in. Hold on, I'm coming in fast. Let me shed some speed. Yeah, it's right behind you. All right, I'm gonna make a left turn. You want to left first or me? How close are you to it? I'm right behind you. I freaking lost it. I don't see it right now. Hold on. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, you're you're on it. Yeah. Yep, there it is. I'm right behind you, actually. Okay, coming in hot. Oof. Yeah, I'm going around. I saw that. Going around. I'm, I'm coming in. I'm, I'm going to land from this direction. direction. Yeah, I totally there lost it go. until the there very last second. Yeah, this one is not on the map, actually. Yeah, I don't see anything around us on the map. Coming in a little fast, but it should be okay. Alright, I'm flying with the drone here. Where? Oh, I see it. But you came in from the other direction. I can't turn. I don't think my reverse thrusters triggered. I can't tell if they did or not. I, I went like into the village. Yeah, I see that. We're gonna have to redo this, but in Colombia. In Guatemala, I heard Guatemala has a ton. See, this area is a little further away than the area that I looked at for the cartel, so they could very well just be nothing. Yeah, I see, I see a bunch of these strips here, but they're all marked. Yeah, see? It's 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 weird. It's weird how they're marked. Yeah, so these must be just the actual ones. I mean, I'm, I'm done to still land there because i got to go soon, but so find a nice one to land on. But the other ones not being marked is what encourages me to think that they are legit. Okay, so it looks yeah. like I'm about to fly right over it, but I don't see it. 
Is it on this side of the hill or is it on the other side of the hill? No, it should be right down here. Oh man, I, think I don't think the TBM's gonna like this one at all. Okay. Wait, are you already landing or? No, I'm going around. I have the wrong. I have to come from the valley. If you come from the mountains, you're gonna have a really steep approach and you're gonna overspeed it. So you gotta. Why do I not see it? Really? I didn't see it till the last second. I'm right behind you. This is like a sidewalk. <laughs> No way. Uh, <laughs> he said uh, this uh, is uh, like a uh, sidewalk. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, what the hell lands here? Literally, I can't land. I can't land in a playground. What am I doing? Uh, so you're telling me this is marked, but those other strips. Oh, I, I got it. Yeah, we found an unmarked strip that's actually decent. Right, so that's what makes me like, hmm. What does that even mean? So I hope you guys liked that video. Make sure to comment below what you guys think about the strips that we saw. Let me know if you think that they, if they're cartel strips or let me know if you think they're just not strips at all or if you think that they're just used for small villages to get supplies in and out, honestly. I'm not sure. I'm just, I'm open-minded. I'm always open to possibilities, so who knows? Uh, just make sure you're subscribed. Uh, comment down below if you guys have any suggestions for me on where I should go next uh, to try to find things like this. Um, other than that, just make sure you are subscribed to enter into the giveaways that we're going to be having soon. Like I said, we're going to be doing hardware giveaways such as uh, yokes and uh, throttle quadrants and stuff. I'm really just waiting for that stuff to, uh, to actually arrive and be in my hands because as you guys probably know, stock is extremely low. So um, other than that, I hope you guys have a good one and enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.